Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be opening up all three of my Ipsy Glam Bags, Glam Plus, and Glam Ultimate over here. This is the first month that Ipsy is opening up three types of subscriptions and I'm gonna break it all down. I have been doing Ipsy unboxings for about six years now so I am pretty well versed in what is worthwhile and what ends up just sitting on my shelf or in a bucket or in a drawer and waiting to dry out or be donated or given away. So let's start off with the basics. In addition to there being three different subscriptions this month, they have opened up the availability for you to customize at least one of the items in each of the boxes or bags. So I was able to go onto the website, I believe it was September 24th, for the October boxes and choose one item for each of the subscriptions. I went through and it was kind of difficult. Some of the ones was I didn't really want anything and some of the ones I wanted like three of everything. So I, I kind of had a hard time with this one. I ended up selecting things that I felt like I was gonna actually use and I do absolutely appreciate that they are starting to incorporate more customization options in with the subscription. That's something I absolutely adore and love and am passionate about when it comes to my FabFitFun subscription because I subscribe to the annual subscription with them so that I could pick as many items in my box each season as possible. So it's kind of cool that I get a chance to do that with my Ipsy's now. Now they did raise the price of the Glam Bag subscription from $10 a month to $12 a month. They did give those that had the subscription already at the $10 rate to purchase the whole annual year at $10 ahead of time to help kind of like prolong when we would have to pay the $12 a month. So I did end up doing that. I will be doing Glam Bag unboxings every single month for at least the next year. You can count on that. <laughs> So let's go ahead and open this up and see what was sent and see if I can remember which of the products I actually chose myself. The theme this month was a Betty Boop one. My light is fit flickering and that's so creeping me out. Hold on. Creepy. Halloween is next week. No, no, no thank you. <laughs> is that showing up? Oh my gosh. And these are like LED light bulbs. Like, aren't they supposed to like never die? Okay, I think it's good. Anyways, what we were saying is there's a Betty Boop theme. We will be getting a Betty Boop bag. Look at those sparkle sparkles there. As well as one item that Ipsy collabed with the, I guess the brand, the characterism of Betty Boop. And there'll be an item in each of the bags or boxes from a part of the line. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I mean, I'm not particularly a crazy big Betty Boop fan, but it is cute. She's cute, it's iconic. It makes me think of my grandma. I hope that's okay. Don't offend anybody uh, with saying that, but um, it's just kind of like an old time type of thing. First thing I'm pulling out from my glam bag is the olive oil face mask. It's a deep cleansing instant hydration with aloe vera and spirulina extracts which all of those are for an esthetician are kind of like keywords for really deeply hydrating and amazing. It does say deeply cleansing, but it also says mask, but then it has really hydrating properties. So I'm curious to try that out. Um, hopefully it doesn't break me out. That is not what I chose. This is what I chose to be in my bag. It was the Betty Boop lipstick because the color was totally up my alley. Cute little lip print there. And it's kind of like a rustic-y mauve. Let me see if I can tap some on here. I didn't put any lip product on again when I was like touching up my face for the video because I knew I had a couple lip products in my boxes. Yeah, that's definitely coconutty. I didn't put a lot on. You know, I'm not a big lipstick person. I don't like to feel it. So I use it more like a stain and luckily this one's kind of matte. And I think there should be a gloss in one of my other boxes. So we'll kind of top it off here in a little bit. So cute. I like it. It's a neat color. Is it okay if I turn off this light? Will you be offended? It is creeping me out. The next thing I'm pulling out is the It Cosmetics CC Plus. This is a color correcting full coverage cream. It has anti-aging properties and SPF 50. You should be wearing an SPF 30 every single day. So I can get on a 50. 50 train. It's in the shade medium. I haven't had much success with it cosmetic products. I love their brushes. So soft, high quality, amazing, expensive, 
but amazing. Totally worth it if you can get it in like a holiday set or on clearance or something. This, I will try it. I will give it a go. Usually it looks really greasy and heavy on me, like the It Cosmetics. Uh, I tried, I think, two different types of their concealers and foundations in the past, but I, I will stay open-minded. Uh, next thing I'm pulling out, I love this brand. It is the Hemp's Triple Moisture Herbal Whipped Body Cream. As if I didn't already have 1,205 body lotions and body butters and creams from all the subscription boxes I get, uh, I do like this brand. I appreciate that it's in a little travel size. Oh my gosh. I was gonna suggest that maybe I wrap this up in like a little teacher gift, but no, I may have to buy another one. This one smells delightful. That I'm happy and pleased about. The last thing in my glam bag is a little heavy. What is this? This is from Beautinique and it is a peach blush. It is a butter lip and cheek balm. Ooh. Well, I already have some stuff on, but maybe we can tap a little bit on, grab kind of like a fluffy-ish brush. I'm not big on cream products though. I'm just not good at using them without making it look stamped on. So I'm gonna try, I kind of like tapped it onto the back of my hand. How's that look? Cool, not big on cream products, but it is not a terrible color. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. It'd be cool to use it as a dual like cheek and lip one day to kind of pull a simple look, maybe like no eyeshadow, simple black liner and some mascara with the peach everywhere else. That could be really pretty and easy and quick. On the card, it has a reminder that on October 23rd, don't forget to choose the item for your glam bag, glam plus, glam ultimate. So I'll have to make sure to be like logged into my account that day and go and choose my option for November. I can't believe it's already gonna be November. And then it's gonna be Christmas. And then it's New Year's. And then it's my birthday. And you guys know I do my annual beauty birthday goodies freebie video and I, I'm kind of starting to get excited about it. I felt like I was such a nerd last year because I kind of was rushed with school and work and kids and all that. And this year I feel like I will get to like take some time and enjoy it and it would be really, really cool. Let's go ahead and pop open our plus box here. This is $25 a month and it usually has blue foam. So how clever that they had an orange foam in uh, the October box. Something else that is new in the plus box is that you will also get a bag in here too. This one's not as cute. I kind of like that the other one had like Betty Boop's face on it. Uh, it does have the same kind of sequence. Are they the flippy sequence? Yes, but there's no other color. Uh, it's fine, it's a little bigger. Is it a little bit bigger? Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the uh, glam bag. I like the glam bag one much better, way more creative. And not as like, I have to say, I do appreciate that in the glam bag and the pus box and the ultimate, there's these little cards that has the info on the products that are in here in case you had questions about how to use it or anything like that. It's kind of, kind of neat. Or the full product name so you can then go back and look it up, get full sizes. All right. So this is something I already own, but it's in a different color, but I swear it's the same exact product. The Dr. Brandt Anti-Aging Microdermabrasion Exfoliator. This, uh, mine is in like a teal bottle. So maybe they um, revamped it. Either way, it's probably similar in that it's gonna polish the skin. It's a physical exfoliant. You should only be using this a max once or twice a week. No more than that. You are exfoliating way too much. It has micro, little round beads. So it's not gonna create micro tears in the skin like an um, apricot scrub or a walnut scrub might. This is going to have very spherical. It's just gonna lightly glaze over the skin. Make sure you are lightly damp on the, so it has a good slip. And then just do very light circles. It's not about pressure when it comes to doing physical exfoliation. It's actually about repetition. So going over the area at least three to four times, making sure you're not creating too much redness. A little bit of pink in the skin and activity is totally fine. If you are getting red, you need to stop. You are too much pressure or it's too abrasive for your skin at that moment. Try again tomorrow. Long rant. That's what you get by watching an esthetician's channel. Nice, I've been wanting to try something from this brand. This is the uh, No Por Porab Porblum. Oh my gosh, why am I butchering this? No Porblum Priming Water. This is from Touch and Soul. I've been really wanting to try their actual primer, but I will settle for the primer water. Um, whoa, trippy, I thought it would be like a spray. Smells like rose. All right, how do you do this and not get it everywhere? Oh, it's like a serum. Like a very watery, liquidy serum. Okay, I am 
so excited to try this out. Isn't that weird, the, the stuff that we get excited about? Uh, I, yeah, I'm stoked to try that out. Is it bad that I don't remember which of these items I chose? It was either this one or this one. Well, let's start off with this. I believe this is the one I chose and simply because I knew I could trust the brand and the quality of the product. It is the Lovecraft Beauty and it was a blush palette, which looked totally up my alley as if I didn't have enough blushes already. This is gonna be great for traveling because it's got all of my vibes, like daytime, maybe a little more peachy, and then just dropped everything. Um, and then maybe more of a nighttime, kind of pulling out the cheeks a little bit more, a good old flush down here. I actually have the bronzing palette that came in a plus box a few months ago, which I have really been enjoying. I have it right here, right on my top shelf. Very cool. So I could easily just grab this, this, some eyeshadows, and hit the road. I think that was the product that I chose. The one that I was kind of torn between is this next one I'm going to show you. Let me open it up. It is a Betty Boop eyeshadow palette. And the colors, while aren't while they aren't ones I would wear every single day, I know I just saw it and I really, really wanted it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I chose the blush. Either way, I have both and I'm so excited about that. Let's see if I can swatch maybe a, a shade or two. The ones I'm most excited about, which is like this peach, this purple, and this like smoky gunmetal one whoa okay so a little streaky on this guy but this gunmetal is so pretty i'm excited to try this out and the last item in my plus box was a set of three brushes from farah uh, it looks like there's going to be a face brush there is like a flat top more like carve out your cheek type of one and then like a concealer or like an under eye powder setting brush i'm tempted to open it tempted not like at this point i have so many brushes and I use like the same seven brushes that are like my ultimate favorites. Let me know if you want to see a video kind of like just maybe lay them out and tell you how I use them and what products I like to use each one for. But I have a lot of Farrah brushes from a bunch of other plus boxes that have sent them out. I have a whole eye set. I think I actually have two eye sets and a full face set. I don't think I have these specific ones, so I might be tempted to open it. Are they blue on the top or is that just a reflection? I'm like 50-50 excited on these and like 50-50 not. And last but not least, let's open up the ultimate box. Big Bertha over here. Big ol' box compared to the plus one. This is supposed to have a mixture of full size and deluxe sample sizes in it. I will say they sent out a little card around the first of the month just saying like your ultimate is on its way. Eight full size product, four deluxe sample sizes, and one gorgeous makeup bag, endless discovery. Um, I thought that was interesting. I don't know exactly what I've never received a postcard from them before for warning me that my bag or my box was arriving oh, It's something new they're trying dude. This is $50 a month. I don't know how long I can keep up with that I may just get next month's box and kind of see how it goes from there um, If you enjoy seeing these comparison videos, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it It helps my channel it helps these videos pop up and helps me earn some ad commissions so I can afford to get boxes like these. Because honestly, $50 a month is a lot of money. And that's a lot of products coming in. Even if I wasn't a YouTuber or anything like that, getting all three of these subscriptions is a lot. Unless you have a bunch of daughters or a hell of a lot of friends that you can kind of gift the different things away, you'll never go through all of this. Um, and we thought the $25 for the plus box was a lot. Now I see that as a breeze, peas, knees, one but let's see if this can kind of blow that out of the water since the plus is kind of my favorite subscription at the moment the first thing i'm pulling out i'm gonna pull out the bag so i did receive an email saying like oh we're sorry you're gonna receive the same bag in the plus box as well as in the ultimate that that was like a mistake uh this month that everybody's gonna receive the same bag for each of them it just kind of sucks that it's both of the ones that were kind of like I think they sent me points or something like that. No, I think they just gave a forewarning that next month all three subscriptions will have a different style of bag. What they did say, uh, and I got points for, you know like how you get those points if you refer somebody or if you do like a review of a product and then you can use it to get like free sample sizers or whatever. They did give me points because, I forgot about this until this moment, 
they sent the same item in my plus box and in the ultimate which is quite unfortunate i thought the whole point of having one account with the different tabs one membership but three subscriptions would avoid this issue from happening but they did recognize it before even sending the boxes they did give me some points i think they gave everyone who had duplicates points it wasn't just like somebody like for me they don't even know who i am so i guess i will open up one of those bags and use it for personal use and then perhaps we'll put this in like a little giveaway maybe we'll do like a little uh, holiday box so next month when i get stuff i'll kind of collect some of the items that i'm like 50 50 on and maybe do like a little giveaway or something if that's what you're interested in my last giveaway didn't do really well um so let me know if you're if that's even an, uh, if that's cool <laughs> there's like a booklet this is cool look at how many products are in here okay this might be more exciting than i initially felt okay so the first thing i'm pulling out is the product that i personally chose for my ultimate box it is the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm i was reading through the ingredients it just sounded like it was super clean super straightforward i am not a fan of greasy cleansing balms but i know they're necessary and great for removing your makeup without using a harsh surfactant filled makeup removing wipe or using your cleanser twice because then you burn through your really great amazing active cleanser when you can use something like a makeup remover and then go in with your cleanser to remove even though this may say no need to cleanse afterwards i highly recommend it does say rinse with warm water and wipe off with a damp cloth i personally recommend doing a double cleanse when using cleansing oils or balms like this just to remove any of the residue otherwise you could be clogging your pores oh what a neat little it's cute it's an interesting type of package i want to smell it and then we'll move on mm, it smells really just like fresh it smells really fresh and it is like a bomb so i'll have to try that out and update you maybe next month or on instagram if you're following me on there i often update you on the products i'm trying out on there so what else is in here we have a deluxe sample size of the estate eyeshadow this is in the shade pipe maybe it's, it's got like little peaches around it maybe it'll be a pretty peach shade i like peach eyeshadow oh no it's like a bright oh i know what this is I use my points to get this <laughs> remember those points i was telling you about not the ones they gave me for the brush but ones i had already have because i'm so grateful that you sign up for your subscription through my link i don't get paid on it i just get points for the website i personally picked this and i totally forgot about it it's like a burnt orange color i thought it'd be really fun for like a halloween look that i might do next week so i'm glad that arrived in time then we have the obsidian waterproof liquid eyeliner i love liquid eyeliner i personally love the physician's formula eye booster one but i will be flexible and try a new one here hopefully it has a brush bristle and not a felt tip i'm just not well versed in using felt tips i i smoosh it out i smear it and i don't get a clear like thin precise line it is felt tip let's see how skinny i can get it i can get it pretty skinny it's pretty black yeah you can kind of build it up this one's kind of a little more gray a little more uh not as opaque as the second coat so i will give it a go it says it's waterproof so that is where a wonderful cleansing balm will come in handy <laughs> okay so we have a deluxe sample size of the lemon lemon verbena clay mask uh, from eye balm i haven't heard of that before ibom and it says that it's going to cleanse the skin remove impurities dead skin cells and smooth the skin i haven't heard anything about that so i'm I'm curious, I'm like cautiously curious. Uh, this here is a hydrating primer from Unicorn Glow. That's kind of a fun name. Is that the brand name? I think that's the brand name. Lightweight gel texture. I'll give that a try. I'm not big on primers. I mean, I am excited for that priming water because it feels like it will be super lightweight. So hopefully this is equally is so. Um, it doesn't feel like heavy. Dimethicones and silicones just feel like, oh, I feel like they're touching me. Okay, so then we have a colored rain eyeshadow they have beautiful palettes isn't this the one that nikki tutorial swatched like back in the day and everyone went gaga for them Ooh, and it's a color that i'll actually use on a more regular basis it's a beautiful like champagne -y shade like a brown this could go all over my lid inner oh and it's it feels like wet and creamy okay eyeshadows get me excited okay 
Wow, I could even use that maybe even as like a highlighter. I, I'm excited to try that out. Maybe I could do a look with the orange and the champagne together. Okay, so then we have two sheet masks. I like trying these out. This one has avocado for deep moisture, and this one has shea butter for protecting. Although shea butter I know is super moisturizing too. This is from the brand The Same. The Same? S-A-E-M. Here's a lip gloss I was talking about eons ago. This is from Say Moi, It's Me. And this is the Reflect Lip Gloss. I saw this when I was looking at the cheat sheet. It's not something I chose for the box, but I saw it when they like tell you what is coming. Cause this box arrived first. This box arrived a full week before the other two. And then the other two, the Plus and the Glam Bag, arrived like a day apart from each other. It doesn't change the color too much, but it looks like a nice top coat. It kind of gives it a little sheen. And in person, it almost gave it like a light purpley kind of tint, like a pewter undertone. So cool, I'm pretty happy with that. And it's not sticky, thank goodness. All right, we also have a Cella Creme de la Creme. This is the very best cream. Okay. From seed to skin, it is a luxurious body cream formulated with Canadian botanicals. I don't know very much about this brand, but like I mentioned, I love a good hand balm. I love a good body butter. Can't go wrong with that. What is this? It looks like it's quite the contraption. There's like instructions on the back. It's a two-in-one lash curler and lash enhancing mascara from Tristique. I like Tristique. Their products are really great for on the go. Um, they kind of just scroll up, tap them on, they're nice and creamy. What a funky thing, okay. It says flip down to curl. Oh, uh, 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 uh. you see it? <laughs> I closed the wrong eye. Oops, stupid. That is functional and easy for traveling or like if you're getting ready on your way to work or something like that. Let's check out the wand from the mascara because that's a hefty mascara bottle. I don't hate it. I love brush bristles like this. It's not a silicone one. It looks like it'll be nice and volumizing. Uh, the, these type of brushes really grip the hair as well and kind of coat them up. You can probably get this a little spidery just the way the bristles look. I don't mind having a little bit of furry lashes. I like them to be like long and fluttery and furry. Furry, fluttery lashes. So this says it's supposed to do all the things from lengthening, curving, and volumizing. Okay, I will definitely have to give that a try. I'm very, I'm intrigued. I'm curious. What, who thinks of this stuff? They're geniuses. I need to think of something genius like that. Sweating's not gonna pay for itself, you know? Three more products to go. This here is the, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Leu, Le? Uh, Leu Serum Sewing Hydrant. It's a moisturizing and hydrating something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's from BioRace. Uh, it's an all day hydrating serum for moisturizing and improving the skin's complexion. Okay, but what are the ingredients in here? Niacinamide is pretty high up on the ingredient list. Niacinamide is very healing. It's great for those that have acne. Uh, yeast extract, sodium hyaluronate. So it does have some hyaluronic acid in here. Um, um, sunflower seed oil is down there. Another hyaluronic type of hyaluronic acid. I'm not seeing anything too bad right off the bat. And again, it's very tiny. And I do have my contacts in, but I'm I'm having a hard time reading this. Uh, but from what I can see, glycerin is the second ingredient, so that's going to be uh, you know a really strong humectant, keeping moisture on the skin and bringing it moisture to the skin. So. I, I'll try it. It sounds great. It, I mean, I, I wish I could read the name. Okay, so second to last item here, and it's a Betty Boop one. Next item is from the Betty Boop line, and this is a blush palette. I almost chose this, I think, in my Ipsy bag. I think it was an option. I just thought the shades were super pretty. Um, this one, these two here have like a little bit of a sheen to them, and then this one looks more matte. Um, right up my alley, perfect everyday shades. I even think those with darker skin tones could appreciate, especially this one down here. Maybe even this one would give it like a light glow since it's got a bit of a, a shimmer shift to it. 
Yeah, because that one down here is pretty light. So those with a deeper skin tone would really only be able to kind of get away with using those. And me personally, I'll have to use these type of ones pretty sparingly. But I think it's pretty nonetheless. It's kind of cute. So now from the Betty Boop, I have a lipstick, I have the eyeshadow, and the blush palette. And I don't really remember what else was in the line, but to me it kind of feels like I have a really good, you know, a really good collection going. The last product in all of my boxes and from the Ultimate Box, I'm pretty stoked about this. I didn't select it simply because I felt that the colors were pretty similar to the one that arrived in a Plus Box two months ago, the Coral Obsessions and it's very warm orangey little yellow pop up here this here is the topaz obsessions and it's beautiful fall colors so i feel like they're kind of complementary they kind of go together kind of same idea same vibes this one has a, oh i really like that burnt orange up here very similar to this guy up here but this one's a little more red and this one's true orange and then a couple more mustardy colors. This one I'll probably use a little bit more than this one. I do like the peachy tones up here and I'll use them, but I don't really use these like hot pink ones down here. I also have the Smoky Obsessions that I had added on to, like I had gotten this one and then the next month I added this as an add-on for I think 12 bucks. Totally worth it. The pigmentation on these are unbelievable. Like, it has made me want to buy them like, full price. I'm just being cheap, and I have a lot of makeup to burn through before I pay um, an astronomical amount for eyeshadows. Um, even though they are amazing, super pigmented. Let's see if I can kind of clean off my hand. Oh, wow, look at this glitter up here. It's like a pressed glitter. Okay, let's try that guy out. Wow, look at that metallic. Kind of came off more metallic-y. Holy shit. Wow. Huda has some amazing products. I just, they're sometimes a bit out of my budget and for somebody who has quite the collection, it's hard for me to like spend that kind of money on some, wow. Holy crap. Now those are all like the metallic -y ones over here. Um, I'd be curious to see how some of these fare. Yep, they're good. Wow. So this one up here is from the Coral Collection. So you can see it's a little bit deeper than these two were from the Topaz one. So, oh, I need to be careful not to get that on my shirt. <laughs> I got swatches everywhere. Okay. <sighs> Darn, I was not disappointed with the Ultimate Box. I thought there would be like a bunch of products that I'd be like, nah. The only ones I'm kind of like, eh, about are some of the sample sizes that were sent. I almost feel like they could just totally do without the deluxe sample sizes, but maybe that's the idea is that they're trying to do the ultimate so you don't do the glam bag or the plus. Cause it's kind of like a combination of both. The ultimate is basically the plus box and the glam bag together. Because in the glam bag, you're getting five deluxe sample sizes and in the ultimate, you're getting four. And then in the plus, you're getting five full size is where you're getting like eight full sizes in the ultimate. Um, so it's really up to you, your budget, how many products are you wanting to receive each month to try out? We get a good mixture. Now that I've gotten the plus for a year now, I've been getting the plus box for a year. I think I get a good mixture of makeup versus skincare. I don't get a lot of hair care, but I think that's in my profile to not get hair care. Um, if I remember correctly, cause I don't, hair as you can tell in this video it kind of looks like a plume on top of my head i have a lot of it i just i'm not a hair person that's why i went to to skin school to beauty school i don't know what do you think i'm kind of torn i honestly think the plus box is still my favorite i love getting the full sizes of the brands that i'm really wanting to try um other than the dr brand that i already kind of had but how would they know that you know and it is a good exfoliator i'm okay getting and it's expensive so i'm okay having a duplicate um, I like the blush palette, the eyeshadow palette. I think the plus box has a winner here for me. I mean, it's fun getting the ultimate. Maybe it's like a treat for like your birthday month or something like that. Or if you could afford to get things like, you know, $50 a month, good on you, do it. It's a great way to try some new things. The glam bag is just kind of fun. Like if you had a gift for someone for a teen or uh, a friend or something like that, and you wanted to give them the whole year, I think that'd be so cool. Glam bag is just fun. I feel like the plus box is the most functional. The ultimate is excellent.
extra bougie. Um, that is where I'm going to leave it at. Let me know your opinions on each of the boxes in the comments down below, and I will see you in the recommended video starting right now.